Oh. So hello, hello. Today I'd like to take a look at one of my most favourite actors of all time, um, Oliver Reed. Um, yes, he was controversial. Yes, he was um, a genius actor. Um, probably more latterly in his career, he was more known as a sort of drunken sot sort of thing. <laughs> but um, he actually did have a very, very rewarding career. Um, and was one of my favourite actors, as I say, as I say, as I say. Um, so there's that book. This one was actually written by Oliver himself. Read all about me. Um, it was, uh, when was it published? In actual fact, I don't really know. 1979, this copy. Mm. Well, 1981, but I think 1979, I think. So Mark and Sarah are Oliver's children. He has a son called Mark and a, and a very pretty daughter called Sarah, in actual fact. I don't know if there are any pictures in this one. If there are. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, goody. So Ollie was a, uh, a very uh, interesting character. He, he was raised in Wimbledon Village from a very affluent family. Um, uh, he was pretty much pisshead all his life, unfortunately. Um, and the reason why he's got this horrific scarring on his face was because he provoked a couple of drunks in a toilet in a bar somewhere and they bottled him, unfortunately. What I mean by that is they, they smashed a bottle and cut his face, which was terrible. That, that shouldn't happen to anybody. But um, he uh, probably brought it on himself in a way. Um, so he was related to Peter the Great, according to him. Um, and he was certainly related to Carol Reed, the uh, the film producer and director. So um, in the bath, with it says with Claudia Cardinal. Well, I can think of worse places to be. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's with Mark, and, um, and so that's his son, obviously there, who's obviously a grown man now, of course. And that's Ollie looking like he's taking one to the tossle. <laughs> It says that ouch before wicket, yeah, Broom Hall. So Broom Hall was Ollie's uh, mansion that he bought, which was a, a sort of a, a, a strange thing to do. He was great friends with Keith Moon. So the story goes that Ollie goes into a bar in Wimbledon and he gets drunk and um, and then he goes across the road to the estate agents and he goes, because uh, he wants to buy a horse. <laughs> For some reason he was just, I just want to buy, I want to buy a horse. Oh yes, he was also famous for doing these great, strengths of uh, feats of strength you know like that sort of thing and um so i want to buy a horse and so he goes to the estate agents and he says i want to have some land and they used to call him the whispering giant and he spoke, spoke like this you know and uh, he said well um well, his, his trousers are off there isn't he he said um have you got a, a field that i can put a horse in and, and the agent said well no no sorry sir we haven't so <laughs> He had another drink and then he went back to um, the, uh, that's in York, that's for you, Ollie. You'd, you'd have loved these, wouldn't you, mate? All this booze, the bit of a bit of bishop's finger, old speckled hen. Brilliant. These, this is, was when it was in Poland. It's stopped now because they wouldn't buy it, the rotters. They wouldn't, they wouldn't buy into it. They're not interested in anything that's not Polish, which is a shame, but oh well. Mm. I suppose that's not true in the bigger cities, but uh, around my area it is. Hen's tooth, all the stuff, guineas. Sorry, anyway, sidetracking. <laughs> that was little. Um, that's the hardback version of this same book. Um, so ultimately, um, Ollie walks back to the back to the agents, the, the estate agents, a few more pints down sort of thing. He says, have you, have you got a, um, a small cottage with a field attached to it? And, uh, and, and they say, well, no, sir, sorry, we haven't got it. Uh, we haven't got it. So anyway, the, on the third time he goes back to the estate agents, by now the agent's sort of fully familiar with what's going on. And he says, actually, we have got a, a, a rather large hall called Broom Hall. I think it was in somewhere in Surrey. And Ollie goes, oh, how much is that? And, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's a couple of million or whatever it was. <laughs> but he ends up buying it, you know. And, and, and then dedicating the rest of his life to, well, not the rest of his life, but dedicating a large amount of his time to um, repairing it and maintaining it. So here we go. Um, more photographs. That's Ken Russell, a, a, a film director who's renowned for his strangeness, of course. And so that's why they're, that's, the, I, yeah, uh, no, no, nothing more to say. So here we are. There's um, his grandma. Granny May, they were all in the acting prof profession, and his grandfather, Herbert Beerbaum Tree. 
um, yeah, so they were sort of Edwardian, you know, um, actors and actresses, as it were. So, well, I'll, I'll leave that there for, you know, for you to read. There's more photos in this one, obviously. Holiday snap with brother David at Worthing. He had a lot of brothers. In fact, um, I, I, I hope, well, I, I do hope they're still alive. Sadly, Ollie is not. He died in 1999 in Malta, I think, filming the movie Gladiator. It was the um, with Russell Crowe, you know. Um, it's a cracking film. It's one of his last um, roles, in actual fact. In fact, it wasn't one of his last roles. It was his last role. But um, yeah, a, a good one, and and probably a really good way to go out, in actual fact. So there he is uh, with Michael Winner, the famous producer, and and Ol uh, Orson Welles, you know. The finest cherry on my. Do you remember the advert? Yeah, well, that's, that's what old Orson was reduced to in the end of his career. Poor, poor, poor fellow. Mm, I was going to say, swing. Mm, oh, no. mm, swing. <laughs> I think that's all the book pages there. Oh, no, no, there's more. Look, come here. Come here, there's Mark. But um, where are they there? With Mark and... Yeah, we've seen that one, haven't we, in the other book. But there's more um, f f uh, photos. Custard pie in the eye and below a cartoon from Punch. So, Ollie was famous for, for anecdotes. In fact, I've never been to a pub in in England that hasn't got a story about Oliver Reed, to be honest with you. One of the best I've ever heard, which was a true tale, was in Winchester, where I used to live latterly, before I left for, 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 for abroad, when, when I lived in... Um, in um, that, that's his, 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 his daughter, Sarah. She's actually a very lovely-looking woman. She, obviously, she's grown up. Um, basically, um, he... Uh, there's Broom Hall, the master of Broom Hall. It was this huge mansion, mansion spread, amazing place, awesome. I'll leave links to, if I can find them, to um, an interview that he had when he was down there. He eventually sold that place up and went to somewhere else in Surrey, and, um, and eventually after that he went to Ireland, and where he died, unfortunately. Well, he didn't die in Ireland, he died in Malta, but he was buried in Ireland, um, because that was where he was living. Uh, this is a great book by Cliff Goodwin, Evil Spirits, it's called. Um... I don't know what I've got this for. Well, well, well I do know what I've got it. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about all this extra additional bits and bobs of... Hang on a minute, because I can't, can't function, isn't it? Because I've got all this rubbish in taxi. I don't know why it's in there. That, that woman was rubbish. <laughs> well, that's a bit unfair, actually. But um, she wasn't any good as a counsellor. She, she she was for council, and uh, and, she, and she failed miserably, innit? Unfortunately, as did the man that came after her. Where's the ISBN? There we go. Sorry, all fingers and thumbs today. There we go. So, for what you need, it's that. So, this book was from about 2000. Um, and it's a good book. It's, 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 it's got some decent dialogue in there, definitely. That's where Ollie Reed was from. You know, Wimbledon, as I say. Um, Durrington Park. I've been there many times because um, I used to live nearby, not far away myself, isn't it? But um, and there he is as a younger man, obviously with a glass of booze in his hand. Um, there he was in uh, a, a, an early role he had for Hammer uh, Films in, in Bray Studios, which was the, uh, the Curse of the Werewolf, I think it was. Um, yeah, really cool. 1961. <laughs> But um, there he is, you know, again, as Bill Sykes, he's always, always boozing sort of thing. And there he is in a Michael Winner film with Michael Crawford, who's a brilliant actor as well. I like Michael Crawford. And, um, Hannibal Brooks, Hannibal Brooks, brilliant film. He's made so many good movies, you know, before he sort of booze rotted his brains. Um, he, he was a, well, he, he, uh, uh, that's a shame, because he, he always was a brilliant actor, but he just he could have done better without the booze, I think. Um, Castaway with Amanda Donoghue. That was another gr cracking movie. Amanda Donoghue, another of my favourites. Mainly because she uh, gets her boobs out all the time. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, no, that's not, that's not fair. That's, that's my crudity. She's a very good actress, don't you worry. Um, there's, there's Ollie on the, on the golf course. Um... Yeah, there he is, there again, with, with his mates. Uh, Oliver Reed was a strange fellow because he'd never hung, hung out with actors or actresses or anything like that. He was he was um, very much into the working class society, even though he wasn't really from that um, 
element. I remember when he brought this book out, or read all about me, he, he, somebody asked him in an interview, and said, well, what, what, what's it about? And he said, he said well, it's, a, it's a load of old bollocks, really. <laughs> and that was his last wife, Josephine, who was much, 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 much younger than him, but I suppose why not? If they, liked, if they loved each other, it's all good. Um, and um, they were married together for years until, until he eventually, unfortunately, died, you know, as I say, of a heart attack in Malta. Arm wrestling Russian sailors, can you believe? <laughs> You'd had about, you know, 20 pints of lager and, and God knows how many shots of gin. And not, not that I'm kind of, you know, advocating that, but, but it, it was an amusing thing. And, he, and so he started arm wrestling these Russian sailors, and of course, they obviously, <laughs> his heart gave out. I don't know if there's any more pictures, to be honest, in this one. Oh no, I think we're, I think we're out, of, out of luck with that. So let's let's get that one over to the, to the side. Um, this is a great book. Oh, come here. It's by Robert Sellers, and it's called What What Fresh Lunacy Is This? Um, the author, authorised biography of Oliver Reed. And um, obviously mine's the next library book, because they always are, usually, in such a cheap state. But there's the uh, ISBN, I think. Yes, there you go. If you need that, so let's quickly go to the photos because this video is rolling on again, as it were. So what have we got in here? So we've got uh, Roke B. Wimbledon, a school report uh, from Ollie, uh, uh, for Ollie rather. So I'll, obviously if you can read that, I don't know if you can read it, it's so small. Um, what's that? Uh, a letter home. Oh yes, he went to boarding school and he didn't like it. It was very... Disturbing. I went to a public school as well. Actually, you know, they have boarders there as well in Berkhamstead, and it was particularly grus grisly. The, the, the boarding lads didn't um, didn't like it either. They they felt very lonely. Um, yeah, I, I won't go anywhere else with that. But um, so there's his first wife, Kate Byrne. I think her name was. Um, very pretty young lady. There he is, is Bill Sykes in Oliver. Hannibal Brooks with the elephant. Um, well, I can't remember its name now. It was a lovely, it must be gone by now, but it, it, that, that's a, a very lovely film, actually. It's good for kids, that one. Um, yeah, he worked with them all, all the big producers and everything. And there he is again with Broom Hall. So he was in with, uh, with, with Jackie Darrell. It says there, one of his girlfriends, I presume. Um, Mark is his son, as I said earlier. And Sarah, his daughter, as I said earlier. And there he's in, I think it's the Triple Echo. No, Sitting Target. But he did he did a film called The Triple Echo, which is another cracker. You know, the, the, I'll, I'll leave a filmography, well, I'll leave a link to Ollie below. So you can look at his filmography and then pick out the ones you want. If, you, if you're like me, a pirate on the internet sort of thing. Just grab what you want, isn't it? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, by, I can't remember what pirates say now, but um, it's probably the parrot that does most of the talking, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, did I tell you the story about in, in Winchester? Um, no, I didn't, did I? The, the, one of the funniest stories in Winchester was there was this huge fish tank um, in this restaurant, which was in the, uh, well, it was called the Wessex Hotel in those days. I think they called it something else now. It's a major hotel in Winchester. That, that's Broom Hall, you see, with a tiger. You had a tiger on the thing. I it's not a sudden, no, no, don't go there with that. But um, no, the there, there they are, El, more old, 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 grown up. His son Mark and his daughter Sarah. She's a lovely looking woman now, I tell you. Um, yeah, so I'm going on about this fish tank, aren't I? And um, they had this tank. It was huge. It was probably about say a meter width by about two meters deep by about four meters in length, and it kind of went between the restaurant and the um, and the foyer. And you had all these fish in there. And anyway, old Ollie thought it would be um, relevant to kind of strip off naked and dive into the darn thing, which he did after a few jars. And, uh, of course, all the people in the restaurant were just screaming, thinking, what the hell? What the heck? <laughs> this naked man suddenly appears in the fish tank, you know. But that was the sort of, sort of thing he got up to. And, uh, as I say, when he was getting older he, he he was into the quiet life and he used to grow vegetables i trust him to have grown him a ruddy courgette that big you know <laughs> but um 
No, he was into The Quiet Life, and um, that was the film I was talking about, Castaway, with Amanda Donahue. She's obviously boobs out, and it was just, it's all good, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, no, so he was in Ireland, and it, where he's buried now to this, to this very day, and that was the last film role he did um, in Gladiator uh, for, for um, Ridley Scott, you know, the, the, the wonderful um, film producer, director, Ridley Scott. And that's his grave, that's Ollie's grave. Um, I, I read somewhere that they messed it up, that they, 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 it's been messed up, that, which is why, I don't know if you can make that out, but it's got some sort of strangeness to it or something, because they, they um... oh, I think it was down this bit. He could make air move or something like that, but, but they, they wrote something else. He could make the, they make the air, it, 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 what, what they'd written was, it made it sound like he was f farting sort of thing. But <laughs> he could move the air. I think is what they wanted to say. But he could make the air move as if it was. Like, anyway, whatever. But um, no, I found that amusing. Even in death, Ollie still managed to entertain. Bless him. Um, so he lived in Guernsey for a while as well. That's right. There he is. Um, he was at Le Petit Hume. Obviously, Guernsey is French sort of place. You know, he, he lived there to to, 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 to avoid tax. I've no doubt. But um, it says here, I think I'll summarise with this, which is good. I'm not a villain. I've never hurt anyone. I'm just a tawdry character who explodes now and again. <laughs> and I think another famous line he said was, I do not belong to a world of sobriety. Well, I'll drink to that. Cheers, Ollie, old boy, old, old, old whispering giant. And uh, thanks for all your entertainment. And thank you, guys and girls, for watching. Very much appreciated. Cheers. Thank you. But if you've made it this far, brilliant. I'll leave you on Jimmy. There you go. Cheers.